Hello my fellow miners, this is a, a sequel to the video I released yesterday with uh, how to get the 3070 LHR up to 120 MHz at around 80-90 watts. So I managed to get 125 at 93 watts I think it was. Um, but the method works, it's very nice, check out the video. Um, I was actually going to, to give you a rig introduction today to uh, the GIMP rig, which is this one I'm sitting at with my 3070 LHR cards. Um, I even made a very nice thumbnail, which can be seen here. So the twins, 3070s on each side, and then the master GIMP here, the 3080 Ti. Um, but that video will have to wait for another day, because now I found a way to get it to 135. Megahertz. So let's get into it. We have them um, uh, around 120 megahertz right now with the method I showed you yesterday. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. Um, so what you need to do is start a command prompt as admin. We move it a little bit over here, and we fire off a command that sets the memory clock to 6,000. Now I've looked in MSI Afterburner, I've looked in the NVIDIA API, I've looked in GPU set, and I cannot see this clock anywhere. It does not reflect anywhere for me when I set it to 6000, but apparently it works. For some odd reason it works, uh, and I'm very happy about that. Um, so anyway, so let's, uh, let's check out the result now. We have a uh, 21. 121, which is uh, about two more than we had last time, so that is good. And now is also the time to ask you guys to please subscribe to my channel if you want to be the very first to to get the latest tweaks when, when I, I discover them, because it is something I'm actively working on. Um, so please subscribe and like the video if you like it, it uh, helps out a lot. And to the six subscribers I have already, thank you very much, much appreciated. So we have reached 125 megahertz, which is uh, it's quite good, right? Um, it's better than before, and uh, it's climbing still. 129. Last time I reached 129 making this video, I discovered that I did not have the microphone plugged in. So. I had to start over again. That was pretty amazing. So it looks like we are stuck at 129. Uh, sometimes it shows 130, sometimes 129. Um, from here on, we have to tweak a little bit more. So yesterday I showed you guys how to do the clock. Here we have the full command. I'll post this, uh, post this in the description so you can simply copy and paste it and then obviously you change the wallet and names, right? Uh, well, you don't need to, to change them. You can also uh, keep them and, and then uh, then mine for me. That would be perfect. Um, anyway, also remember to change the device to fit your device. So um, what I found out is that when I use this command and, uh, and, and 735 instead of 720, I actually get a better clock or better megahertz. Um, However, if I use 736, it completely tanks. I get like 70 or 80. So uh, it may vary by card. It's the exact same for both of my cards. They're also the same manufacturer and everything. Um, but uh, try it out and if it tanks, then just minus one. And if it tanks, minus one. And if it tanks, minus one until you actually get something that is perfect. And I would also recommend that if it works perfect for you at 735, then try 736 just to see if it fails. And if it doesn't, then go up and up and up as far as you can. So we are at 132 now, which is actually very good, right? Look at the efficiency. It's very nice. 134, that is, uh, is quite good. It still keeps the same watches. It's uh, it's very good now. This card just has turned out to one of those that you hide away in, in a closet because you're ashamed of it. To actually show it, it's like look at this, how efficient it is, right? It's very environmental friendly, of course. All the proof of work is. <laughs> um, so now we have something 
out of nothing. I, the best was 106 before for me. Now I have around 135. Anyway, that is it for this time. I hope you liked the video. I hope you actually click like and I hope you subscribe. Remember to hit the notification bell if you want to be one of the first for the next tweak I find.